Good day viewers, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, this is your tutor, Mr. Mlenga. So as you can see on the board, uh, today I want us to look at collinearity of vectors, okay? Collinearity of what? Vectors. Now when we say collinearity of vectors, we are simply looking at vectors that are lying on the same what? Straight line, okay? We are looking at vectors that are lying on the same straight line. So, if you are given points like P, Q, and R, then we say these points are collinear. It means that the vector P, Q is equal to the scalar multiplier of vector what, Q, R. Okay? So, if the points P, Q, and R are collinear, then it means that the vector P, Q is equal to the scalar multiplier of what the vector qr okay so this also implies that the vectors now pq and qr they are going to have the same what gradient they are going to have the same gradient why are they having the same gradient because we have said that they are lying on the same straight what line so it's important for you to understand that Okay, so if they are lying on the same uh, straight line, it also means that they are sharing a what? A point at Q. Okay, so here I've said uh, the vector PQ is equal to the scalar multiplier of QR. Okay, so uh, let's see how we can prove that certain points are what? Are linear. All right, so I do hope that you have understood what I've said. I've said collinear vectors. Okay, let me just write it here somewhere. Collinear uh, vectors are vectors that lie on the same straight line okay so these vectors they are lying on the same straight what line in other words we are also saying that they have same gradient they have same gradient so this means that if you want to prove that uh, certain points are collinear in this case when you look at our examples okay we have p q and the r so i want to show that these points are collinear there are different methods that you can use in order for you to show that the points P, Q, and R are what? Corinia. Remember what I said? If these points P, Q, and R are Corinia, it means that the vector P, Q is equal to the scalar multiplier of the vector what? Q, R in this uh, regard. Okay. So you can use that method as well where you have to find the value of the, co the constant there. Okay. You So I wrote something like this. Uh, P, Q equal to the constant uh multiplier of qr i wrote something like this so you can use this one formula okay or you can use another one so i'm going to explore all these two formulas that we can use all right so uh let's now look at the question one okay we are going to look at question one show that the points p q and r are what are collinear so for those who are writing their exams this year, more especially the internal and external candidates, grade 12, you should expect these questions in your exam, okay? So there will be one question that I'm going to give you for you to answer, which came in last year's paper. So how can we show that these points are collinear? So you start with, you say, uh, the point PQ, or the vector PQ, this vector PQ, is going to be equal to the scalar multiplier of what? The vector QR. Okay. So I've just gotten this PQ equal to the scalar multiplier. This is a constant value, scalar value, okay? Which is being multiplied with the vector what? QR. So I want you to get me on this one. So what uh, formula can you use? So you have to identify the coordinates. In this case, P is having these coordinates negative 3, negative 11. Okay. Then Q is having these coordinates 1, 1. Okay. I want you to follow me nicely here. Then 
uh, for PQ, the way you are going to answer it, okay, you can see, so I'll name these coordinates, so x1, uh, y1, x2, y2, like this, okay, just for PQ, this side, so what you are going to do is, you do this, you say, x2 minus x1, okay, comma, um, I've gotten the x coordinates, then y2 minus y1, like this. Then we can close, okay, equal to, now remember, we are having a constant value there, like this, okay. Then what are the coordinates of q here, where it said equal to, for q, our coordinates are, so I do hope that we are moving together, 1 comma 1. Then for R, our coordinates are what? 4 comma 10. 4 comma 10. So equal to this K. So even this side, um, we are going to say this is X1, Y1, X2, uh, Y2. So you say 4 minus X1 there. Okay, I'll put a comma here. Then 10, which is y2 minus y1 there like this so uh, there is another way you can present this okay apart from this uh, method that I've, I've used okay so I just wrote this in order for you to understand where we are getting the values so I'm going to replace now okay if you are following me nicely I'm going to replace where I'll say my x1 my x2 is 1 1 minus what is our x1? It's a negative 3. So a negative 1, a negative will give you a positive what? 3. And then we come to our y2, which is 1 again. Okay. Minus negative 11. So negative, negative will give us a positive what? 11, like that. So I do hope that you are following. Okay, so let's now simplify. Remember, the reason why we are doing this, we want to find the value of this scalar multiplier, okay? Or the value of k in short. So, uh, let's see. So here, uh, 1 plus 3 will give us a 4, comma. 1 plus 11 will give us 12, equal to k. Then 4 minus 1 will give us a 3, comma. Uh, 10 minus, okay, so it was 10 minus 1, supposed to have a 1 here, 10 minus 1 will give us a what? A 9. Alright, so what we we'll do here, you can see we have this x coordinate and this x coordinate there, meaning we can uh, equate them, okay? So I'm going to say 4 equal to, we'll get this constant k, we'll just say 3k okay so i want to see if the scalar uh, value of on the left hand side will be equal to the scalar value on the right side and side of when you use the y coordinates here and when you use the x coordinates this side so we want to find the value of k divided by uh, 3 even this side we divide by what 3 so this and this will cancel. Definitely, the value of k is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, like this. So, we have used the x coordinate here. 4, we have equated to 3x. So, let's see if we equate this uh, y coordinate to another y coordinate on the right hand side. If we are going to have the same value for the constant k. So, here, we remain with a 12 here, which will be equated to... 9. So I'm going to say 12 equal to 9k. This k here. So you divide by 9. Divide by 9. This and that. You cancel. k equal to. You find now the highest common factor of 12 and 9. That is 3. 3 into 12 goes there 4 times. Uh, 3 into 9 goes there 3 times. So you can see that um, the scalar multiplier is just the same, okay? 
ek was equal to 4 over 3 again when we use the y coordinates we are still getting the same square multiplier which is k equal to 4 over 3 so this tells us that the points p q and r are what collinear okay so uh yeah, we we'll just conclude. Therefore, PQ, this vector PQ is equal to our uh, constant value is 4 over 3 of what? QR. So, uh, this is what we are getting, okay? So, this shows you that the points PQ and R are corinna vectors okay so you can write that statement they will mark you in an exam provided that you have shown this what information okay so in an exam like for last year this question was carrying five marks they will just give you five marks just to show this all right so let's look at another method that we can use apart from this okay, okay so let's say okay we can now apply a uh, method two under the same question one to c so we are saying, uh, collinear vectors, these are vectors that are lying on the same straight line. Okay, so if you have a line like this, uh, here you have P, okay, uh, somewhere here you have Q, and then somewhere there you have a point what? R. So we are saying these points are, are collinear. Okay, so we understand that in a straight line, the gradient is what? The same. Okay. So you say uh, the gradient of PQ, M stands for gradient, gradient of PQ will be equal to the gradient of QR, the gradient of what? QR. Or if you want, you can even use PR and QR. It's one and the same to give you the same things. Okay, so we are going to use this idea to find or to show that these points are what? According to provided that they give us the same gradient. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, this is our point P. This is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Okay. So let's find the gradient of PQ. So I'm going to say the gradient of PQ equal to, we understand that the formula for gradient y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the gradient of pq equal to, what is our y2? Okay, For, we, have, we are using these coordinates. Our y2 is 1 minus, what is our y1? It's a negative what? 11, negative 11 then brackets over, what is our x2? It's 1. Minus, what is our x1? It's negative 3. So negative 3 in brackets. So therefore, uh, 1, 1, negative, negative, positive 11 over 1, negative, negative, positive 3. Okay, so here we say gradient of PQ equal to 1 plus 11, it's a 12 over 1 plus 3, it's a 4. So 4 into 12 will give us a what? A 3 there. So the gradient of PQ is what? 3. Let's now find the gradient of what? QR. Okay. Alright, so uh, we have found our gradient of PQ, which is 3. Let's now find the gradient of what? Uh, Q. R. So I want to see if the gradient of PQ and the gradient of QR will be the same. If it's the same, then these points PQ and R are collinear. Okay, so we understand the formula. So we are using this, this one here, and this one. So uh, this would be our x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 is 10 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is what 4 minus x1 is 1 so from here 10 minus 1 it's a 9 okay 4 minus 1 it's what a 3 so 3 into 9 will give us 3 yes we can see 
uh, the gradient of QR is also the same. We have gotten 3 and here the gradient of PQ was what? 3. Therefore, uh, PQ and R are collinear. Okay? The points PQ and R are collinear because they are giving us the same what? Gradient. So this is how we can answer the first question there. So let's uh, try to answer question E2. Okay, let's try to answer question two. So question two, I'm going to use this method of uh, the gradient. So during your own free time, you can try to use the other method where you find the scalar multiplier, okay, of the constant there. you see if it will be the same, okay? All right. Okay, so uh, I do hope that we are moving together. We have come to example two. This is the question under example two. So this question, they want you to show that the points A, B, and C are collinear, okay? You understand that when points are collinear, it means that they are lying on the same what? Uh, straight line. They are lying on the same straight line. Okay, so we are going to use the other method of finding the gradient of these points. So we are going to start with finding uh, the gradient I'm going to start with finding the gradient of what? AB. This is our AB. So, uh, gradient of AB will be equal to, this is X1, Y1. So, don't forget to rename your coordinates. In doing so, it makes you not to forget or to misplace the values. So, our formula is Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1 so from here we identify our y2 this is 5 minus our y1 is a 3 over we come to our x2 it's a negative 6 minus our x1 is a 2 okay so 5 minus 3 we are going to get a 2 there over Negative 6 minus 2, we are going to get a negative what? 8. That is the gradient. Okay? We are going to get a negative 8. So the, the gradient of AB is 2 over negative what? 8. So from there, we can also find the gradient of what? Uh, B, C. So let's say gradient of B, C. Remember what I said, you can also find the gradient of AC if you want. But in some cases, you may find that just two points they have given you the same gradient, the other one maybe not. But still have to state that the two points are what? Collinear. Okay. Now, here, we are using this B and C. So if we are using B and C, definitely this one will be our X1, Y1, sorry, then the other one, x, x2, y2. So it starts straight, y2, which is a 2 there, minus a 5. Over, what is our x2? It's a 6, minus, so in bracket we are going to have a negative 6. So from there we are going to say 2 minus 5 is going to give us a negative 3 over uh, 6, negative, negative, positive what? Uh, 6. Okay. I think I uh, need to go back. What? Okay, we wanted to see if our coordinates are turning. Uh, y2 is 2 minus my y1, 5 here. 6 minus, okay. So here, uh, negative 3 over 6 plus 6, you are going to get a what? A 12. So from here, we can simplify, okay? And you see on top, we forgot to simplify there. So let's first simplify on top. 2 there, 1, uh, 2 into 8, you're going to have a 4. So this will be a negative, it will be 1 over negative 4. So you come here. 3 here, it's a 1, so a negative 1 over 3 there, 4. Yeah. So you can see that on uh, the gradient of AB is 1 over negative 4. 
Again, the, uh, the gradient of BC is the same also, 1 over negative what? 4. So we can say, therefore, the points A, B, and C are collinear. Okay? The points A, B, and C are collinear, meaning the vector for A, B uh, is having the gradient which is the same with the vector for what? Uh, B, C. So, thank you so much for viewing this content. Don't forget, I will leave a question with you that came in an exam last year to be on the screen. So, make sure you pause the video, you write the question, then you try to, to work it out. Thank you so much, everyone.